Hello and welcome to the Hobby Farm Guys, a YouTube channel where some guys talk about hobby farming. In case that wasn't already obvious. I'm Steve, this guy is Brian, and the boss manning the controls from behind the camera is Eric. Hey everyone. Today's topic is a big one that comes in a small package, Bantam chickens. Specifically, we'll look at some of the special considerations you need to think about that might be different than if you were keeping standard sized breeds. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel while we roll the intro. Unless, of course, you hate chickens. Keeping a backyard chicken flock can be fun, beneficial, and sometimes frustrating. Usually the frustration comes when we realize that we're not as prepared for our flock as we thought we were. This is why we always recommend that you don't rush into anything on the hobby farm whether it's raising chickens, growing a garden, or getting dairy goats. Do your research and plan everything thoroughly. Many Bantam chickens are just smaller sized versions of standard chicken breeds. You can find Bantam Leghorns or Bantam Rhode Island Reds, even Bantam Brahmas, just to name a few. Others are true Bantams, breeds that only come in small size, like the Seabride or the Nankin or the Barbuda Uckle. These true Bantam breeds are often raised for show and they may cost a little bit more or be harder to find. Whichever direction you choose, there are certain advantages to keeping Bantam chickens. The main one, of course, is that smaller size means less space required. Or if you look at it from a different perspective, smaller equals more chickens in the same amount of space. They only need about half the space of most standard breeds, or about two square feet of coop and four square feet of run. Of course, if you do choose to keep Bantams, there are other differences besides space requirements. Their small size can make other things more challenging for you. For example, being smaller means they're lighter weight, and lighter weight means many of them are good flyers. So if you want to keep them confined, a covered run will be a better option than just a fence. They are pretty good escape artists, but it isn't just because of their flying. Their small size means they can fit through smaller gaps and fences and find other ways to get out. So make sure coops and runs are secure to keep them from wandering away. Another downside to smaller size is that they can be easier and more attractive targets for predators. So secure fences and coops aren't just to keep your flock from getting out, it also helps predators from getting in. And if you plan to build a coop for your pint-sized flock, there's a few things to think about then too. Because Bantam chickens can be better flyers, you may want to place roosts higher up than you would with standard sized chickens. They'll appreciate the chance to spread their wings and feel a little more secure with higher roosts. And you can also build the nest boxes just a little smaller. For standard sized chickens, we recommend about 12 by 14 by 12. But for Bantams, 12 by 10 by 10 inches might be a little cozier, and it might afford you the space to place a few more nest boxes in there. Of course, the eggs they lay in those boxes will be much smaller than their standard sized relatives. While different breeds of Bantams lay different sized eggs, they generally range in the one to one and a quarter ounce size. This means it usually takes two Bantam eggs to equal one standard egg. And not only are they smaller, but many Bantam breeds will lay fewer eggs than their standard size counterparts. For example, a standard Rhode Island Red Hen can lay 300 more eggs a year, but a Bantam Rhode Island Red usually only lays in the 240 to 260 eggs during that same time period. You may already have a flock of standard chickens and think, Hey, these Bantams sound like a good idea. I should get some and add them to the flock. But will it work out? Many people have great success mixing standard size and Bantam breeds, but there can be some problems. Because they're smaller, the Bantam chickens are more likely to be bullied. Anytime you add birds to an established flock, there's likely going to be targets for the established members to assert their dominance and place in the pecking order. But being smaller, that can be more dangerous for the Bantams. You may have better success keeping a flock with both standard and bantam chickens if they're both raised together as chicks. Or perhaps you can add younger standard birds to an established bantam flock. And another thought is to keep a more docile standard breed like Australorps or Orpingtons with less timid bantams. In any of these situations though, the smaller size of the bantam will be a disadvantage in establishing their place within a mixed flock. Another thing their small size makes difficult is tolerating the cold. Bantam breeds will always have more trouble dealing with this than larger chickens. That makes having a well-ventilated, draft-free coop even more essential 
if you experience cold winters. Also, since chickens stay warm at night by huddling together, if there are only two or three birds, this can be a challenge. Consider having more bantams to help through the cold spells. Because they need less space, this can make that an easier thing to do, which is a bonus. Chicken math can mean your flock can add up quick, and the ability to keep a larger size flock means you can add a larger variety of breeds, which is something lots of people like about their bantams. And if having variety of breeds is something that you're interested in, remember that you have many miniatures as well as true bantams to choose from, so the variety within a flock can really be quite diverse. As you can see, the decision to keep bantams should be made based on many considerations besides just their smaller size. That small size comes with several advantages as well as some disadvantages. That means you can't do enough research and planning before starting your flock. You can start your research on bantams right here with the Hobby Farm guys. We have several other videos about bantam chickens, so check out our bantam chicken playlist. We'll put a link to that in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. That way you won't miss out on new videos of interest to you. And if you find this video interesting, please click the like button. It helps us and it also helps you receive similar content from other creators to continue your research. Thanks for watching everyone. And until next time, happy hobby farming.